ESN, DSS, illegally, holding Namde Kano, blackmailing us with insecurity. I pop. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. The Indian people of Biafra Pop has accused the Department of State Service DSS of illegally detaining its leader, Mazen Namde Kano. I pop spokesman Mapuafu claimed that DSS illegally detained Kano while blackmailing the group with insecurity. Powerful made this allegation while urging the public to ignore claim of neutralizing operatives of Eastern Security Network ESN in Arichuku and Enuku Forest. A statement by Powerful said the viral pictures and videos being circulated by the Nigerian military show they invaded the camp of Biafra National Legu. Their armed group that is called Biafra National Guard. He insisted that BNG is not part of IPOB and has never claimed to have anything to do with the group. The statement read badly. Nigerian government desperate effort to blackmail IPOB and ESM for over eight years have always failed because IPOB approach to self-determination is in the line with international laws. In desperate moves to blackmail IPOB and ESM, Nigerian security agent particularly the DSS have sponsored armed group in Biafra land while detaining Mazen Namde Khan illegally. But our disciplined approach have always exonerated the movement from these sponsored criminals. The viral pictures and videos circulated by Nigerian military showed they invaded the camp of Biafra National Guard, BNG. The BNG are not part of IPOB and have never claimed to have anything to do with IPOB. I like that. They have never claimed to have anything to do with IPOB. And IPOB have always said that BNG is not part of them. But BNG is one of the Biafra fighters. That's just the fact. And I don't think they are part of those who are sponsored by the Nigerian government. It's true, we have so many groups, Sizin Nandikalo was kidnapped that were sponsored by the Nigerian government and some of them are Europe making noise, showing press in the name of fighting for freedom, they are women. It's quite a shame. This is, not, this is why they don't like me because I say the things the way it is and nobody can do anything to me. But truth has to be told here. Nandikalo has been in DSS custody for so long and for this reason Nigerian government has sponsored so many criminals in Biafra land. In fact, this was the plan, and this was why they kidnapped Nam the Khan and brought him back to Nigeria. I said it from the beginning that Nam the was kidnapped, that so many things is about to happen in, Niger in Biafra land. And I also said it that the British government were part of those who planned the kidnap because they saw that Nam the was hitting at them so hard. And for this reason, they planned with Buhari government and Kenya government to bring him back to Nigeria to keep him there because they knew that if they arrested him in England nothing would come out from it because Namdi Kal is not a terrorist neither is he a killer he is just a freedom fighter fighting for the restoration of Biafra of his people and every other person who is suffocating Nigeria some of them may not understand this because they are so jealous that they don't even give a damn who is fighting for them they prefer those who is tormenting them and that is what is happening today this is what happened in the Buhari government and this is what is happening today. I thank God fuel is so high, dollar is so high, and Nara has nothing to offer. This is the handwork of your government. Like I said, keeping them the color in DSS custody today is something to be worried about because I see her if Nam the Kano is not released quick. I also see her if anything goes wrong in the gentleman's life because in fact the truth is that he is the one still keeping their friends together. If not, by now he will arrive from different places. Because of him, their friends are coming down. And this is more reason why Nigerian government to set him free immediately since the court has set him free. He's a man who believes in peace. He believes so much in freedom 
of people and their offices, his, his people and every other person in Nigeria. You and I know how he started this struggle from the scratch. And today, some criminals sponsored by the Nigerian government believe that they can deceive some people because they cannot deceive everybody at the time. And not even someone like me. No matter what they do, no matter the defense they put on, no matter the Iraq they send in different places, no matter how hard they try to destroy my channel, I will still say what I know is the fact and the truth. What they do is when they do one small thing that is not even important in this struggle, you will see their ladies opening breasts everywhere on social media, making noise, singing some useless song. It's right, it's right there for people to see open useless breasts. So it's quite unfortunate that Nam the Khan is going through what he's going through today. But I have to correct something here. BMG is not a sponsored group by Nigerian military or soldier, whatever, or police or DSS. Unless, of course, they have compromised themselves. That I cannot tell for now until I also investigate what is happening. Because I am very surprised how their camp was raided like that. If that is really their camp, because Nigerian government can easily set up one camp and claim it is theirs. I've never really watched the video. Because this time around, I'm kind of busy doing up some kind things. So that's it. So, but we should not forget that BNG has done their best in trying to protect the land taken away by, by so called Cameroon government. That land is ours. And the truth must be said. That is the truth. And they have continued to fight for that land. And we should know this. And the Eastern Security Network, the hope of every Biafran man, can never be dislodged by useless Nigerian soldiers because they are not stupid. They are secret outfit, no doubt. But their reasons like the way men who are men supposed to be reasoned. They are educated people, well educated, so many of them. So I don't think they can easily. capture that way. And there are many numbers, so I don't know what Nigerian soldiers are talking about. Like they said, the pictures and the videos circulated is of BNG, the armed military wing of BNL. That is it. But time shall tell. But you should know, that as far as Biafra freedom is concerned, we have so many people fighting for the struggle. Some are criminally minded who has come to destroy the struggle, while some are genuine. Also, that is the truth. But the fact is this, IPOB is the only people and I'm the count on that people look forward to achieve Biafra restoration for them. But the process of doing that we should not also undermine the job that BNG are doing right there that, that, that they are trying to protect the stolen land that was stolen by the Cameroon government. Or should I say that was stolen by the Nigerian government and, set, and sold to the Cameroon government. So that is the truth. I think I've come to the end of this news.